Advanced expressions go beyond traditional operators that are typically used in common expressions. These expressions can sometimes feel like elements in computed code. That's appropriate, since these operators are evaluated by Onshape's native language feature script. Since Onshape uses feature script to evaluate expressions, more advanced functions are available. Functions such as ceiling, floor, round, absolute, max, and min may all be utilized within expressions. A full list of functions are listed in the standard library documentation under math. Onshape also supports arrays or lookup tables. An example expression is the array seen here, where the first set of brackets serve as the array, and the second set serve as the position. The positioning always starts at zero and increments by one. So in this case, three is the first number in the zero position, five is the second in the one position, and so forth. This sample expression is indicating two as the position, which would be the third entry in the array, evaluating to six. Ternary operators, represented by a question mark, are also supported within expressions. An example of a ternary operator might be related to the value of a variable, for instance. In this case, the conditional statement is checking if the value of the variable width is greater than five. If it is greater or true, then the value returned is seven. If it is less than five or false, the value returned is four. Logic operators such as AND and OR can also be used in conjunction with ternary operators. For example, in this expression, on shape is checking if the value for the width variable is greater than three and less than five. If these two conditions are satisfied, then the true value is returned, resulting in three. If either of the two conditions are not satisfied, then the false value is returned, resulting in two. Expressions like the examples discussed in this video are a good introduction to creating your own custom features in FeatureScript. To learn more about getting started with FeatureScript, check out the FeatureScript Fundamentals self-paced course in the Onshape Learning Center.